Never launch an AI agent until you first understand what they're all about and how to configure them properly. My name is Mason. I've been doing this for over a year and a half now. The service that I provide to businesses is AI automation. I'm gonna show you guys everything about the AI agents feature in make.com. Let me show you this diagram first, showing you what these AI agents are made up of. So essentially it's three parts. First, you need to give these AI agents a brain. So this is your AI provider, such as OpenAI or XAI or Claude or Gemini. The next thing we need is our system prompt. I follow this seven step format that you see right here. If you guys want this, I'll send it over to you guys for free. Just comment agent down below and I'll send it over to you guys. You can find it by joining my free community of over a thousand members. Go to classroom underneath free resources. You'll find it right here underneath AI agent instructions format. And then the last thing that make these AI agents is the list of tools. These are actions that the agent can basically execute. So here, let me show you in make.com over on the left hand side, you can click into the AI agents tab. It's currently still in beta, but I think they have it rolled out now to every single paid user. So when you're first creating your agent, you go up here to the top right hand corner, click create an agent. And then the very first thing, remember, we need to give it a brain. So this is your AI provider. I already have mine connected to my open AI account. If you're new to this, go ahead and click add and then select your connection type, make your connection, throw in your API key, hit save, and you've now given your AI agent a brain. Go ahead, give it a name right here. And then as for the model, I always recommend starting with GPT 4.1 for most use cases. You wanna start off with a model that's more than capable for your specific use case. And then once you have it all built out and tested out a bit, then scale it back to a cheaper model. So in this case, I'd probably roll it back to GPT 4.1 mini and then test it out and see if I get consistent results without sacrificing on quality. And then for your system prompt, go ahead and follow this seven step format guide. You can just throw it into chat GPT and it helps you come up with the system prompt for you really quick. Hit save and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. So we have our system prompt right here. You can continue building it out as you test out your AI agent. And then remember the third part that make these AI agents is the system tools. So in make.com, these are separate scenarios that the agent can call upon and execute. So in this use case, this is my Slack personal assistant AI agent where I hop into this designated channel. I call it auto Mason and I just fire away with messages. And what it does, this is the master scenario in make.com. It calls upon this AI agent to take actions based on whatever I say in the Slack channel. And this AI agent that you see right here has access to all of these tools, which again are just separate scenarios that look like this. So this tool is called draft email. It's for drafting emails. This one is contact sheet. So it hits up this Google sheet, which has a list of all my contacts to basically whenever I say, hey, draft an email to Bert, right? It goes to this contact sheet and looks up Bert to see first and foremost, does Bert even exist in your contact sheet? If so, what's his email address? Okay, grabbing that, then moving on to the next tool, which is drafting the email. So hopefully you can start to see how this is all pieced together and then hitting me back with a reply once it's all done or if it needs further clarification. As you're adding these tools right here, every time you add one of these tools or these scenarios as a system tool, you need to give it a very detailed description so that the agent knows which tool to call upon and how to use it in addition to your system prompt. So you also have details of hey, use this tool or when tasked to do X, follow this process. Again, this is all laid out for you in this instructions format that I have for you guys. Underneath step five, it's the step-by-step -step task flow. So when tasked to draft an email, follow this process right here and use these tools. Yeah, that's essentially it. You can get into more details. So if you want to change the model, you can go up here to the top right-hand corner underneath agent settings. You can change the name. You can select a different model that you see right there. You can also mess with these parameters right here for max output tokens, steps per agent call, and the maximum number of agent runs in your thread history. I just set this to 10. That seems to be great for most use cases. If you guys love AI automation as much as I do, and you want deeper dives into all this stuff, then come join my free community, Automate What Academy, over a thousand members and counting, and then hit up the classroom section right here, and you can get started on exclusive content. If you guys want the link to the free community, just comment the word Academy, and I'll send it over to you guys. Thanks, guys.